interesting stuff um, coming from the camp of the Houston Astros as they they tried to apologize for the cheating scandal from 2017. And uh, I'm excited that Peter Rosenberg was able to arrange for last year's American League batting title. He's hit 335 last year. Tim Anderson, the shortstop for the White Sox, to join us now. Tim is certainly not shy about giving his opinions about things, and he joins us now uh, live from spring training. Uh, Tim, it's Michael, Don, and Peter. How are you today? How are we doing? I'm doing good. We're doing great. So what's your take on this? Did the Astros cheat or not? No. Uh, I mean, that's the word out, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's the word out. So, you know, if, if, if that's the word out, then, yeah. Now, if, you know? if you knew what pitch was coming, I mean, Jim Crane, the owner of the Astros, said, I don't think it helped us. If you knew what pitch was coming, would it help you? Yeah, I have a better chance of getting a hit. <laughs> <laughs> now, let's be real. If I knew somebody about to grow me a fastball right down the middle, you know, I know I have yeah. a better chance at, at squaring something up, to be honest. So, Tim, how do you think you'd feel if you were a Yankee or a Dodger and, and you might miss out on at least going to the World Series or a possible championship because of this cheating? Uh, man, of course I'd be upset, you know. Why wouldn't you? Uh, but, you know, man, people make mistakes. People make mistakes, and, uh, you know, they'd be scared to admit it. Uh, but, you know, we got to admit it and move on because we all know it happened, right? So, uh, but, you know, we all human. We all human at the end of the day. Do you get a sense, Tim, that um, you and your fellow ball players are, are people angry about it and offended by it? Do you think it's something that'll last throughout the season, or are you guys ready to move on from it? Definitely, I think it's going to be something that definitely, you know, lasts throughout the season. Uh, not just with them players, but you know, with them fans as well. Um, so, man, you know, it's just you know, you know, things occur in 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 in, in life, you know. So. Uh, they just going to have to deal with it as it come. Uh, and I think the biggest thing about it is just being honest. I mean, if you're honest and you, you're giving people your honest opinion about it and just being honest on what happened, then there's, there's really you're giving them room not to think anything else. So, uh, you know, it's just all about who's going to be that person. Tim, do you believe they used buzzers? They said today they didn't. Uh, I don't know. I don't have proof, uh, so I can't really say. I'm interested, know. though, at, when you played against them in 17, uh, your team did as well, at 18, did you guys suspect that they were stealing signs at home? Uh, I mean, to be honest, I didn't know. Uh, I mean, I wouldn't know if anybody had buzzers. I mean, I'm not uh, out there just rubbing on guys checking for buzzers. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, <laughs> I wouldn't know. So, you know, man, you know, uh, it's, it's some things that's allowed in the game as as far as, you know, picking signs and stealing signs. There's some things that allow, but if the buzzer thing occurred, there's only, you know, it's only so far you can go with it. Uh, and there's only certain mm -hmm. things that are acceptable. So, uh, but, you know, I can't really say if they did the buzzer. Like I said, I wasn't out there just, you know, buzzer checking. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know what bothers me, Tim, about, like, Major League Baseball and the handling of it is the players didn't get suspended. They didn't get fined. It was just Hinch. It was Lunau. It was Crane. And baseball feels that the players didn't get the proper guidance. Uh, you're not children, right? I mean, this isn't. These aren't right. high school kids. These are these are men. Do you feel that these players should have been punished more, and that more of the responsibility should fall on their shoulders, not their manager, general manager, and owner? All right, y'all. Uh, they get suspended. Then who we gonna play? <laughs> <laughs> who we gonna play? No, nah, let them play. Let them play. You know, they just give other teams opportunities to go out and compete and uh, wanna beat them. Wanna beat them. You know. So uh, no, nah, don't suspend them. Let them play. <laughs> Now, uh, Tim, we've spent a lot of time this week talking about the new rules that are proposed uh, for Major League Baseball and uh, the, the, the playoff changes. And th there's been a lot of back and forth between us about whether this is actually an effective measure to, to make the game more popular, mainstream, uh, create more money for TV, et cetera. What do you think about these new uh, proposed rule changes? Uh, I don't really know the rules because I haven't really, you know, heard about them, I guess, uh, about the playoffs. I mean, I ain't really never been to the playoffs, so I can't really tell you how they work. So I'm trying. That's something that I'm working towards. So I don't really, I haven't really heard them. Uh, I mean, do you mind going over them with me? Well, they, they're going to expand the they're going to expand the playoffs to include ten teams. Uh, the the teams with the best record in each league gets a bye. The second best record, Tim, gets to choose who they're going to play in the first round. They get to choose their opponent. So I think that I think that's the best part of it because you could really get another team angry if you choose to play them because you think you could beat them the best. Yeah, uh, I mean that's not fair. I don't think uh, you know having a team to pick. 
because uh, like you said, there's, there's going to be some teams that know they can beat certain teams. So I don't really think that's fair. Uh, and that's not really, you know, it's not really giving teams to match up with teams that's really winning in certain brackets. Yeah, but you know, Tim, you could play the worst team in baseball and still lose. So you, you could say, okay, we right. match up better with this team, and you pick them, and they end up beating you. You look bad. It adds another yeah. level of intrigue. Right, right. You're right. Now, adding more teams, Tim, could mean that there might be years in which a team under 500 makes the playoffs. Would you be okay with that? Uh, I mean, I don't think it's never been that way, so nope. no, nah, I wouldn't be okay with it. You no. know, we all not okay with, like, new changes, so I don't really think I'd be okay with, with a team that's, you know, not under, I mean, a team that's under 500 making it. Uh, I don't think that's fair either. Now, last year you, you were quoted as saying that you thought baseball was boring. Um, yeah. Did did people in baseball get upset with you for saying that? And do you still feel the same way? Uh, I don't really know how people felt about you know what I said. Uh, Cause I didn't really care about what people really had to say about it. Uh, I mean, I think it. You know, I think I think it's kind of moving in a a different way, just a tad bit, not much. Um, but. We'll see how this year go to see if it's if it's still boring. But I know I'm going to be able to you know add a little fun to it if you know to my audience. <laughs> you know what's interesting though, Tim, because you, I mean you play the game with flair, and even right. Rob Manfred, the the commissioner of baseball, said let the guys have fun. But then right. you know we always talk about this on the show. If you toss the bat or whatever, the other team gets mad at you, and the pitcher might throw at you. So I mean it's like all the players aren't on the same page, Tim. Right, and at that point, for me. Man, when I'm in between the lines, man, I'm a totally different person. Um, I'm not out there to, to, to try to, you know, please the other team. Uh, I'm out there to compete. I'm out there to, you know, to, to, to show you what I got. And, uh, and, and and also, I'm there to bring energy to my team. So, you know, with the bat flip, man, that was that was something in the moment. That's excitement. You know, you, when you go through a lot of things to get to a certain point in life, man, it's okay to celebrate those things. And... Not everybody can hit a home run in the big league. That's just the way it is. And you think about how many good players there are out, out there that don't really make the big leagues. So for me, man, I made the big leagues and, I'm, 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 and I hit a home run. Of course I'm going to be excited. And I'm, when I hit another, I'm going to be excited again. So nobody's going to take that from me. That's just something that I earned. And uh, I think it's okay to show. What, what do you think Major League Baseball could do to make the game less boring. Do you have any thoughts on that? Uh, let guys be themselves. You know, stop trying to program us. <laughs> stop trying to put all these rules on us. Let us have some fun. Let us be us. Let us do us. The, the, the more the more that we show that we are ourselves, you know, the more fans are going to accept us. You See, know, just being look, authentic. I agree with you, Tim, but the, the other pitcher doesn't allow it. So you could be yourself, and then the other pitcher gets ticked off, and then you get thrown out the next time you come up. So it's like... Every player is not on the same page, so you, you're right. The commissioner said have fun, but when you guys right. had fun, I remember when you flipped the bat, people were going nuts. People on right. baseball players were going nuts. That's that's within the picture. That's something that he needs to work on. He needs to work on his feelings, how to control his feelings. Uh, <laughs> but, but, you know, man, we don't really care about other people's feelings nowadays. If everybody was on the same page, the world would be a better place, a better place to live. And there wouldn't be, we wouldn't be having this discussion. So, therefore, like I said, man, you can't make everybody happy. You got to, you know, make, do what make you happy. So that's how, that's how I go about it. I do what make me happy, and I ain't worried about the next person. Or definitely not the next player that's on a different team from me. <laughs> I'm only worried about the guys that I'm, I'm out here to compete with that I put my life on the line each and every day for. So forget the other guys. I ain't worried about them. <laughs> are, are there any rules within the framework of the game, do you think, that can make it more entertaining? Uh... I mean, I don't, I don't really know, or I guess I don't really want to give it to her. I guess I could just kind of, you know, I, I, I do think that, you know, that try to interest fans, you know, through social media or, or whatever it is. Uh, and if you're coming to the games to watch me, I just try to play at an exciting level and give you the best game that I have because you paid your hard-earned money to come see me play, right? So uh, this is my job. So. Of course, I'm going to try to be great at my job day in and day out. So uh, I just go about my business, man, and, and continue to try to get better and, uh, you know, continue to try to be 
somebody that uh, that someone wants to come watch you know, we every were, night. We were talking about this yesterday, Tim, and uh, you, you're one of, you know, you, it's, there's a shrinking um, group of African-American players that play in Major League Baseball. It seems like African-American right. kids go and play basketball or football, right. but you're one that went to... You obviously played baseball, and you're very successful. You won the batting title. Why do you think that baseball is not attractive? Although baseball's trying with the RBI initiative, why do you think baseball's not attractive to African American kids? Uh, I mean, that's what I'm here for. <laughs> that's what I'm here for. That's why I'm, I'm here to be an example. I'm here to to to, to show you, to show these kids that it's okay to play baseball. That baseball is cool. So. That's why I'm here. So I only could show you, and 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 hopefully, we, hopefully we have some great results at the end of the day. But I'm gonna continue to, you know, keep trying to push that wave. But you're a great and, athlete. You probably had choices right. to play other sports. How come you chose baseball? Uh, man, I felt like, you know, like I said, uh, I play ba I play basketball, mm -hmm. uh, and it it, it comes down to let's be honest with yourself. You gotta be real with yourself, man. I'm 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 nowhere near six four, six five. That's average height for point guard in the NBA, right? Right. Uh, but I can run. I know how to hit a ball. I know how to catch a ball. But uh, I just got to learn how to do it the right way. Uh, I'm already faster than guys in this sport, uh, you know, so so why not let's choose baseball? You already got advantage on some guys. So all you got to do is learn how to do the things the correct way. And uh, that's why I chose baseball because I feel you, like I already had advantage. Do you feel um, a cultural disconnect? Like one of the things I always talk about, Tim, you know, coming from the, the hip-hop world is my, my first right. day job. I feel like in baseball – they're working on it, but there's this cultural disconnect. And we all know that from a pop culture standpoint, black culture is really what moves the needle. It's it's really, right. you know, that's why it's such a big deal right. when Drake is sitting at the U.S. Open or courtside at NBA games. Do you think right. there's a disconnect and MLB understands yeah. how important that is? Yeah, but who's going to break that? That's why I'm here. I'm here to... To try to move that that wave, you know, I had guys like G Herbo come out there the first pitch, or connecting mm -hmm. with guys through social media, or you know, trying to get those guys into baseball. Let them know, like, hey, it's it's, it's cool, it's cool, it's cool. Baseball, cool, another sport. Uh, so let's, you know, that's why I kind of been cross collabing with guys. Uh, you have seen me out with Khalil Mack and, and and different guys. So just connecting with different guys and in and, and, and different lanes and, and showing you know that you could be cool a, a cool baseball player and, and it's okay to be yourself as well we're in the middle of the michael k show spring training report brought to you by two by london the engagement shop at london jewelers we're talking with the white Sox, tim anderson who won the batting title last year tim pressure this year a lot of people say the white Sox had one of the best off seasons they say that you should make the playoffs this year your feelings uh i mean we got the lineup to do it uh when we setting goals right uh, you know, every team going to to the season. Hey, let's 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 make the playoffs. Let's win the championship, right? That's every, that's every season. So you know, that's that's how we going about it. Good stuff, Tim. We thank you for joining us, man. We appreciate it. I uh, thank you. All right.